friends i hope all of you are safe and healthy in your homes and doing well in the previous class i had started with chapter 1 nature and significance of management and we had discussed certain uh, concepts terms and meaning of management now today's class is about the features of management you can see on the board there are seven features given which i will be discussing one by one starting with the first one management is a goal oriented process now every organization has a set of goals which is the reason for the existence of the organization now the goals that are set by the organization should be simple and very clear like for example earning 20% roi or increasing the sales by 10% recruiting personnel for the uh, different departments increase in production etc even for a school for an institution like a school uh, giving quality education a hospital to give proper treatment to its patients etc second one management is all pervasive or it is everywhere now these management activities are performed in all types of organizations departments and at all levels of management whether top level middle level or supervisory level and in profit and non profit organizations whether it's a government department whether it's a school whether it's an office whether it's a factory it a college hospital cricket team etc your homes even have some kind of management which is followed so that is why it is common to all types of organizations economic political and social third one management is multi dimensional now you can see on the board there are different dimensions of management given management of work people and operations the work comprises of planning organizing controlling people consists of staffing and directing now these five are the five functions of management as i mentioned in the previous class and operations are the different activities that are carried on in an office or a factory etc like production sales purchase etc now the first one management of work now work exists in all kinds of organization like for a school it is giving education hospital treating patients restaurant serving food factory producing goods etc now this work is translated into goals of the organization and on this basis or whatever goals are set plans are made policies are chalked out methods are established budgets are made responsibilities are assigned etc etc third one second one management of people now when we say people people here mean the human resources of an organization now the main task of a manager is to get the work done by the people and he needs to have the skills to deal with these employees as an individual and as a group to motivate them to work towards achieving the organizational goal third one management of operations now every organization provides some basic product or service in order to survive now this requires a process of work or production to get the desired output now what operations here means whatever activities are conducted or carried on by the organization to reach the uh, ultimate aim or to get the maximum output from that work now the fourth feature is management is a continuous process that means it keeps ha on happening it is a series of activities or functions like for example planning organizing staffing directing and controlling it is performed by all the managers and at all times fifth one management is a group activity every organization comprises of a group of individuals who work together to achieve an organizational goal that means the main focus is on the team work in an organization here we can see that the letter i is replaced by v so management is a coordinated process or activity like it is every activity in an organization is linked to one another sixth one 
management is a dynamic function dynamic here means how easily can you adapt to any change that is happening within the organization or outside the organization that means it has to adapt to the changing environment there are different dimensions of environment like social legal technological economic etc etc and these changes are inevitable so uh, the management needs to adapt to the changes of the environment for example mobile companies change, keep on changing their features or models etc why because they see that because of the heavy competition they have to keep on making these changes so that they are also competing with their uh, group of uh, the companies that are producing the different kinds of mobile so it is a very cutthroat competition when it comes to such technological devices McDonald's which is a popular fast food chain it keeps on changing the menu according to the tastes and preferences of the people in the particular places where it is opening its shops the last one management is an intangible force intangible means it cannot be seen but its presence can be felt how can you feel when targets are achieved employees are happy if they are motivated there you find orderliness and discipline in an organization the company is following a progressive rate etc this is where management is positive and management is working but when company faces loss or uh, workers go on strike etc you can understand that there is lots of mismanagement so this is what uh, are the features of management thank you very much